Hi everyone, it is Heather with Rose Hill Paper Cottage and this is my design team project for Ruby and Pearl XO. And today we are making this adorable tag holder. So this is one that I've already created and oh, I just love how it turned out. It's just so cute. So I basically used a sheet of paper and I'm gonna take it all apart here. And those images of the birds are from her beautiful birds kit. And then this just one sheet of paper is from her Letra kit. And I might totally be botching that name. I don't know, but it's how we're going. <laughs> and I glued this the the short side down and then it just the rest of the paper just folds out. I didn't print anything else on the back. So this was the first time that I created this and this is what I ended up with. And I think it's totally adorable. But you know how sometimes when you create things, you come up with other ideas. And so the one that I'm gonna make today is going to be a little bit different where I don't glue it down. But look how cute that is, so adorable. I absolutely love it. So what you'll need is whatever image that you're gonna use. This is the image, it caught my eye. I love the colors. It already has these great lines on it that help you with the folding. Um, but she has tons of, t of different images. And then I printed on the back, this is from her vintage paper kit, um, just for some journaling space. And then these are the beautiful birds now. She has tons and tons of different ones to choose from in her kit. Um, but I chose those birds and then these are the petite paper strips and these are just fantastic just to always have to just attach you know wherever on whatever your project is so I used a little one right there um, when I had printed off on fabric you know several weeks ago I just used a little piece there but I'm just showing you know there's so many different places that you could attach these and the other great thing about those is that they bring in a little bit of color if you need it the other thing I'm using is some embossed you know paper scraps If you don't have embossed paper, you know, you can just, you know, use anything. Use, you know, if you use texture paste, if you, you know, have braille paper, uh, you know, if you've got ledger paper, just anything that's, you know, interesting for you. And then some book pages. Um, I love the plain, you know, pages, you know, that you'll find at the front and the back of books a lot of times um, just for the back of like a tag or journal card because it just creates extra space. Um, so for the tag inside, I actually printed that vintage paper two to a page. So this is super simple. Fold it in half, glue it, you know, trim it or cut it to whatever size that you need it to be, you know, put a hole up top and you've got a tag. Super easy, super cute. And I just love it. It's adorable. So I printed out everything that I used in this project on just regular copy paper because I didn't want the whole, whole overall project to be too thick. So that's what I used. Um, but I believe this piece might be printed out on linen paper, which is I think like a 24 pound paper. So it's it's still relatively thin, um, you know, so don't be afraid to just use regular copy paper for things. You don't have to use special paper, you know, to, you know, use when you're printing, you know, these digital kits. Um, they print out just as wonderful on copy paper. Now, if you need something thicker or want something thicker, then by all means use thicker, but it's just, it's not necessary if you don't, if you don't need to or don't want to. So I'm just showing how it's got those natural lines. That's where I'm going to fold it. So this is such a super simple, easy project. So I'm going to do that first. And honestly, you could use other images. She has so many beautiful uh, images in all of her kits. There are so many other, you know, ones that you could use if this color palette is, you know, not what you're looking for. Um, but I just, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, I'm going to put it into some of these fall journals that I'm working on and I thought it would be perfect. So I'm showing here how I had like applied glue there and then I glued it down and then I had that flap and that's how I did that first one there. 
But for this one, I'm not actually going to glue anything. I'm going to leave it completely open so that the whole thing could be journaled on. And then, you know, um, you can just open the whole thing up. So that's a, this is a totally different way that, you know, is even more simple. Um, so I'm going to tear this edge a little bit um, more only because it had a little bit of white showing. Now I could have um, dyed it, but I didn't. And then you'll see that I got a little bit, you know, overzealous there <laughs> and took a big old chunk out, but I'll make it all good again. It's fine. You know, it's paper, it's crafting, it's handmade. This is just how it goes. And I do kind of want that shabbier kind of look to it. So it all works out in the end. I use my, you know, fingernails a lot to kind of like distress things that or the edges of scissors, you know, stuff like that. The the metal ruler is good, obviously. Um, just kind of like distress things and make them look, you know, aged and old. And that's kind of what I'm going for. That this has been opened and closed and reopened and folded and all that sort of stuff. So I am using uh, Vintage Photo and I will ink all along, you know, all of the lines, basically all of the folds, all the edges, just to kind of give it more of that aged look. Did I say that that was Vintage Photo? You know, this is probably my hundredth time trying to record this. <laughs> If I'm completely honest, I just, words were hard today and it just, they, you know, nothing was coming out right. And I was like, what am I even saying? I don't even know. And, you know, in hindsight, I should have had that second coffee that I was thinking about this morning. And I think my day would have gone a little bit better. <laughs> do you guys ever have days like that? I'm sure you do. I'm sure. So you just want to ink up all around it. If you choose to do that, you don't have to. And I really should have just forwarded all, all of this, but I didn't nearly go quite as fast. Um, so it's kind of lengthy here of, you know, folding and inking and all that sort of stuff. So just bear with me. Um, it'll give you time to craft if you're choosing to craft along with me. Or if, you know, you're getting ready for work <laughs> and you're just listening to me in the background. I really love how this ink looks on, and I didn't try vintage or no antique linen, but I love how the vintage photo looks on this like, you know, golden yellowy mustardy kind of color. It's, it's really pretty. It just, it, it looks natural, I guess is what I should say. Cause sometimes, you know, when you age or distress things, sometimes it, you know, it doesn't look as natural as maybe you're intending or wanting it to be. Um, but this one, it just, it really does. It really just makes those, you know, dark lines just look, you know, even better. And another thing that this does while I'm like trying to, you know, just kind of distress it where I think it would be distressed or darkened or whatever Handling the paper is also giving it just like a natural kind of, um, it's lessening the crispness, whatever, whatever word I should be using there. You know, it's just giving it worn. There we go. Like a worn look. See, I told you guys, words are hard today. A lot of days. You know, I spend a lot of my time, you know, like alone by myself, you know, crafting. I mean, my husband works all day. Um, and so, you know, this is my job too, you know, where I'm like crafting and creating and making and I'm alone all the time. And then when I do these videos, it's like, what do I say? <laughs> so this has a couple holes here and I just used a safety pin, uh, to, you know, I don't know if it ever actually was meant to be there, but I just went ahead and just did that anyway and just aged it just to give it a little bit more interest. You could actually, you know, safety pin something, you know, attach something, you know, if you want to. Um, I don't, I just have it there for just a detail. So I'm going to leave my um, strip on the side there just folded. And you really could fold this either direction. I mean, you could use either side that you wanted to. 
Um, I just love the florals along with the bird image. I just think it's really, really pretty. So I'm just folding the corner here and just a little bit more distressing. So now I'll work on the birds. So for this one, I'm going to choose the yellow birds. And there, there's three birds there, and it's a little bit wider than my project. But at this point, until I try it out, I'm not actually going to know how it's going to look on the front of that. Um, you know, because I've said it before in the past, a lot of times I'm just, I'm a visual, you know, learner. So a lot of times I have to see things, you know, when they're there. I'll have an image in my mind, but sometimes it doesn't always work when you actually, you know, see it, you know, see it uh, on, you know, on whatever project it is that you're, you know, you're working on. So I'm trying to think what'll work and I really want to add a little bit of, you know, like embossing and some book page and everything. And so I'll do that at the top of this. Just kind of cover up like, you know, some of that space up at the top. So there's the finished one. And then I'm just going to reinforce it because I just printed it out on copy paper. It's thin. And I want to just reinforce the back of it and give it a nice, you know, to match the project and give it, you know, just a little bit more stability for being like a journal card. Um, and so I will put it, um, I will attach it to this this book page. I'm giving it a second to dry and also thinking about how is that going to work on my, you know, page because I don't want it to cover up, you know, all of the floral image. I think I hesitated too. I was almost thinking about, you know, just kind of folding back the book page, um, you know, just to be additional writing space, but I think it was too brittle, maybe. But that's an idea too. I mean, you know, when you craft, I mean, just so many different ideas come to you and, you know, just so many different things that you can try out and see what works. So that covers up a lot of the floral, which, you know, looking at it, it still looks pretty. But um, I will make this a little bit skinnier. I want to see a little bit more of the floral, but this this would have worked as well. So one of the birds is going to go goodbye. And that's okay. Maybe I'll make a skinny little, you know, tag somewhere with the other bird. <laughs> you just never know. See, that looks cute there too.
So I'll do the same thing on the inside. I will take this uh, vintage paper and I'll just, you know, glue it together. And I'm just using Beacon's glue. I like that it doesn't warp paper and sometimes the thinner your paper, you have to be a little bit careful about warping it. Um, and this just doesn't happen to warp it, so I like using it. And then I'll trim this to the size I need. And really, it's just as easy and simple as that to have you know, a cute little tag. So simple to do. Um, and then for the top, I will use, I believe, a scrap piece of paper. Um, I can't remember if it's embossed or not. And then I'll use some hole reinforcements. I'll know once I see. So just a little bit of a light distressing. I think I'll end up like folding one of the corners. Um, and this is a great time where you can use those like labels from the petite paper strips too. I leave mine plain, but it's a great way to, you know, do something like that. Or some age tape or something like that. So this here is a strip of, um, I think, some binding from a book. If you ever take, you know, books apart, it's always fun to have like those just old aged, you know, pieces. So I'll tear a little bit of that and I'll use it on that lower section there. And you can see it's like coming all apart and stuff, but I love that. <laughs> And just to add a little bit of interest, sometimes, you know, I'll take either, you know, you can do, you know, fabric or you could do paper. Um, you know, you can, you can do all sorts of stuff, you know, bits and pieces of, you know, ledger um, or I'm trying to think like tickets or, you know, something, something just interesting and, you know, use it to kind of like make a tab and, um, or I guess I should say like a hole in, a hole reinforcer type, you know, thing. And you could punch a hole into this, but then I'll actually add the um, hole reinforcer over the top of it as well. It just adds like a little bit of, you know, interest, you know, more of like a 3D kind of thing, you know, where there's, you know, just multiple things to look at. I hope that makes sense. <laughs>
so I'll put one on the front and one on the back and that's art glitter glue in that small little bottle um I generally will use them on the whole reinforcers um, just because when I've, you know, I've coffee dyed them and sometimes I think, you know, I don't know, maybe they're just not as sticky in general um, or they lose a little bit of that because, you know, they've become wet, you know, with the, you know, coffee dyeing. Um, and so I just add a little bit of the, the art glitter glue just to make sure that it, you know, stays, you know, stuck down. And I'm just kind of like naturally roughing up, I guess, the the brown embossed paper. So it's really so simple. You know, I really like how that turned out. And then this is just some crinkled seam binding and I'm just using it. Um, I'm bringing in again that white, you know, with that white element that's also, you know, with the, the floral image there, the embossed paper, that sort of thing. Um, just kind of tying it all together, you know. And you'll see me just kind of fiddle with this a little bit. Sometimes that crinkled seam binding has like a mind of its own of like the direction it wants to like lay. So I'm striving for messy imperfection here. <laughs> And look how cute this is. I just, I love it. I think it just turned out, you know, so super cute. I think it's adorable. It's similar to another tag that I've made with like ledger paper, only I just didn't create a side pocket. Um, I created instead like a top pocket. So there's lots of different things that you can just do with just, you know, a piece of paper. And so here's a couple of different ways. So I'm just gonna show it again. How this one will completely you know open up and then it can be you know journaled inside you know or you can even fold that flap inside You could actually create, you know, like several little tuck spots, you know, on the back, you know, there could be the pocket and then the tuck spot on the back. There's tuck spots on the front. So there's a lot of different, you know, ways that you can, you know, add other elements in if you wanted to do a big, you know, layered type tag pocket thingy. <laughs> but you could make this in like less than an hour, you know? It's just so super cute. And so here's the first one I had made. So this just only folds open because I glued that whole side. And so basically this is like, like a tube, like a sleeve, you know, where things could have been put in either side, you know, kind of like a hidden secret, you know, pocket. So those are options as well. And like I said, you know, you could flip this upside down and have everything going the other direction as well. You know, um, I just orientated it this, this direction, but it would look cute, you know, going the other direction too. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you, you know, some different ideas. I'd love to see it if you try it, you know, feel free to tag me on, uh, you know, Instagram. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you can put them below. Um, but anyway, I, I really hope it inspires you to get into that craft room and just create. Um, so have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for walk watching. And I really appreciate, you know, all the support that you give. So have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.